Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 8 from chapter 11 Introduction to Trigonometry. In my previous videos, I've completed examples 1 to 7 and exercise 11.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 8 from chapter 11 Introduction to Trigonometry says if sin a minus b is equal to half and cos a plus b is equal to half then they have given us a condition here that angle a plus angle b lies between greater than 0 degree and it can be less than or equal to 90 degree. Okay, and also they have given us that angle a is equal a is greater than b. Find a and b. So here first of all let us write down what is given in the question. They have given us sin a minus b is equal to half but let us find out at which angle of sine the value will be half from our previous tables. So here in the table you can find out the angle of sine at which it is equal to 1 by 2. So here you can notice that at sine 30 degree we have the value as 1 by 2. So therefore we can write down we know that sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2. So comparing these two equations we can write sin a minus b is equal to half is nothing but sin 30. Now sin a minus b is equal to sin 30. So we can write a minus b is equal to 30 degree. So let this be equation number 1. Now similarly which is the second equation that is given? They have given us cos a plus b is equal to 1 by 2. Right? Now let us find out the value of cos at which it is 1 by 2. So at cos 60 degree we have 1 by 2 from the table. So we will write we know that cos 60 degree is equal to 1 by 2. So comparing these two equations we can write cos a plus b is equal to cos 60 degree because 1 by 2 is nothing but cos 60. Therefore we can write a plus b is equal to 60 degree. So let us take this as equation number 2. Now from 1 and 2 we can write down from 1 and 2 we can write a minus b is equal to 30 and a plus b is equal to 60 degree. Right? So here minus b and plus b will get cancelled and here plus a and plus a will become plus 2a is equal to 60 plus 30 it is 90. So value of a is equal to 90 divided by 2 or a is equal to 45 degree. Right? So we got the value of A. Now we can substitute this value of A in either equation 1 or 2 and find out the value of B. So let us substitute A in equation 1. So A minus B is equal to 30 degree. Value of A is 45 minus B is equal to 30. Send this B to right hand side and bring this 30 to left hand side so this will become 45 minus 30 is equal to b or b is equal to 15 degree right so the value of b we got here as 15 degree so let us check with the conditions given here so here they have given us the condition that angle a plus angle b should lie between 0 to 90 degree right so what is angle a angle a is 45 degree and angle b is 15 degree so 5 plus 5 is 10 carry 1 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 60 degree so this is 60 degree which lies between 0 to 90 degree right so this first condition is satisfied and also the second condition is angle a should be greater than angle b so here our angle a is 45 degree which is greater than angle b which is 15 degree right so this is how we found out the value of a and b if you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. 
In my next video, I'll be solving question number one from exercise 11.2, chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.